Did you know that some of the stars you see in the night sky are older than our Milky Way galaxy itself? Welcome to Astronomical Secrets, where we unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Today, we're going on a journey to meet the universe's oldest survivors, the metal poor stars. These celestial bodies are nothing short of cosmic marvels. Born from the primordial matter of the universe, they are some of the oldest known objects in existence, with ages that stretch back over 13 billion years. That's nearly three times the age of our sun. But what makes these stars so special? They're called metal poor stars, but don't let the name mislead you. In astronomy, a metal is any element heavier than helium. These stars are poor because they contain very few of these heavier elements. They are almost entirely composed of hydrogen and helium, the original elements created in the Big Bang. Their scarcity of metals isn't a shortcoming. Instead, it's precisely what makes them so valuable to astronomers. By studying these stars we can glean precious insights into the early universe. They are, in essence, relics of the ancient cosmos, providing us with a tangible connection to a time almost unimaginable in its distance. Yet, these stars are not easy to find. They're extremely rare, making up only one in a million of all the stars in the Milky Way. But their rarity only adds to their allure. Uncovering these elusive stars is like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack, a daunting task that promises rich rewards. To truly appreciate these stars, one must understand that they are more than mere points of light in the night sky. They are living fossils, cosmic witnesses to the infancy of the universe. Each one is a testament to the enduring power of the cosmos, a silent sentinel that has stood watch for billions of years. These ancient metal poor stars are like cosmic archaeologists, carrying secrets of the universe's infancy. Join us as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of these cosmic survivors in our next segment. Now you might be wondering, how are these metal poor stars created? Well, to answer that, we have to journey back to the very early universe, a time when things were vastly different from what we see today. This was a time when the universe was a mere infant, just waking up from the Big Bang's explosive birth. It was an epoch of simplicity with only hydrogen, helium, and a smidge of lithium present. Stars as we know are cosmic factories. They fuse lighter elements into heavier ones in their fiery hearts, but in this early era, metals, and in astronomy, we refer to all elements heavier than helium as metals, were conspicuously absent. The universe was yet to create its first batch of these heavier elements. So how did the stars form without metals? You see, the universe back then was a hot, dense soup of these light elements. Over time, gravity started to pull this elemental soup together, creating pockets of denser regions. As these regions grew denser, they collapsed under their own gravity, creating the first stars. These first-generation stars were enormous, living fast and dying young in spectacular supernovae explosions. These explosions spewed out the first metals, seeding the universe with the building blocks for future generations of stars. But the metal-poor stars we're talking about were born just before this cosmic seeding, making them a bridge between the universe's metal-free infancy and its metal-rich adolescence. These early stars, being low in metal content, were smaller and cooler than their successors. They were able to live long stable lives, surviving to this very day, billions of years later. Their longevity allows us to study them and gain insights into the conditions of the early universe. So, to sum it up, metal poor stars are the universe's oldest living relics, formed from the primordial soup of light elements. They're like cosmic time capsules offering a glimpse into the universe's past, back when it was just starting to figure things out. These stars, born in an era of simplicity, are relics of a time before the universe became the complex cosmos we know today. Finding these elusive ancient stars is no easy task. It's like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack. Imagine standing on the edge of a vast desert, armed with nothing but a magnet, and you're tasked with finding a single metallic grain of sand. That's pretty much what astronomers are up against when they search for metal-poor stars. The universe is a vast, sprawling expanse and these ancient stars are few and far between. Metal-poor stars are so-called because they contain very little of the elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. In astronomical terms, metals refer to any element heavier than helium, so these stars are incredibly primitive, formed from the primordial gas clouds of the early universe but their scarcity and faintness make them incredibly difficult to spot. The hunt for these ancient celestial bodies involves the use of powerful telescopes and sophisticated spectroscopic techniques. Spectroscopy, the study of the interaction between matter and electromagnetic radiation, 
is a vital tool in an astronomer's kit. It allows them to analyze the light from a star and determine its composition. The lower the metal content, the older the star. However, even with these tools, finding metal-poor stars is like searching for a whisper in a thunderstorm. These stars are often outshone by their younger, brighter, and more metallic counterparts. And even when they are found, studying them presents another set of challenges. Their faintness and distance mean that gathering enough light for detailed study can take hours or even days of telescope time. But the rewards of finding and studying these cosmic fossils far outweigh the challenges. Each metal-poor star holds a snapshot of the universe's infancy, a glimpse into a time before galaxies and planets, when the universe was a simpler place. Their very existence challenges our understanding of star formation and the early universe. Despite the challenges, the quest to find these cosmic fossils continues, driven by the promise of unraveling the secrets of the early universe. So, what can these ancient stars tell us about the universe's early days? Imagine being able to peer back through time, to witness the birth of the cosmos, the first light after the Big Bang. This is the promise held within the heart of metal-poor stars. They are cosmic time capsules, holding secrets that can reshape our understanding of the universe's earliest moments. Studying these ancient stars has already provided invaluable insights. For one, they help confirm the Big Bang theory. The presence of these stars with their low metallicities aligns perfectly with predictions made by the theory. They are the living embodiment of the universe's infancy, a time when only hydrogen, helium and trace amounts of lithium existed, long before heavier elements had a chance to form. But their secrets extend beyond affirming cosmic theories. These stars also shed light on the formation of galaxies. By mapping the distribution of metal-poor stars, astronomers can trace the growth and evolution of galaxies. It's like reading the rings of a tree, but on a cosmic scale. Each metal-poor star tells a unique story, a chapter in the grand narrative of our galaxy. Intriguingly, these stars also hint at the existence of Population 3 stars, the first generation of stars in the universe, now long extinct. These hypothetical stars, made purely of primordial material, are thought to have sparked the birth of metal-poor stars. While we have yet to find direct evidence of these elusive stars, their fingerprints are all over the metal-poor stars we observe today. The secrets held by metal-poor stars are far from fully uncovered. Each new discovery is another piece of the puzzle, another step closer to understanding the universe's past, present and future. These ancient stars, silent witnesses to the dawn of the cosmos, hold clues to our cosmic origins. They are the universe's oldest survivors, the key to unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos, and a testament to the wonders that lie beyond our earthly realm. As we peer deeper into the cosmos, what does the future hold for the study of these ancient stars? The field of cosmic archaeology is set to expand drastically. With the advent of new space missions and the development of advanced telescopes, our ability to probe the universe has never been greater. In the coming years, missions like the James Webb Space Telescope, and the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope will open up new horizons, allowing us to spot even the faintest of these metal-poor stars. These technological advancements will not only help us find more of these ancient cosmic relics, but also to study them in unprecedented detail. The future of cosmic archaeology is a thrilling one, filled with the promise of new discoveries and deeper understanding. These stars, relics of the early universe, hold the answers to some of our most profound questions about the cosmos. As we journey further into the cosmos, these ancient stars will continue to guide us, shedding light on our cosmic past and future. Indeed, the universe is full of mysteries and secrets waiting to be uncovered. As we've journeyed today through the intriguing world of metal-poor stars, we've seen how these ancient cosmic relics hold the keys to understanding our universe's past. They are like silent sentinels, bearing witness to the cosmos's earliest days, and their secrets can illuminate the path we've traveled from the Big Bang to the present day. But our exploration doesn't stop here. There's a vast cosmic ocean out there, teeming with wonders yet undiscovered, and you, like a true explorer, have the opportunity to delve deeper into these celestial mysteries. Let your curiosity lead the way. Unravel the secrets of the cosmos, one star at a time. Don't forget to subscribe to Astronomical Secrets like this video, and leave us a comment about what cosmic mysteries you'd like us to unravel next. Until then, keep looking up and let the stars guide you.